Oh! Can I be sneaky about this? Does it even matter? Be careful now. As the data moves, there oh, are frick. security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. Ah, oh, frick! Sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. Oh, no, why? Why? Why do you do this? I'm no good at this! Uh, uh. Huh. Huh. Oh, frick. Huh. 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 Ah, frick. Wait, on the other side, do I need that many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need eight of those? That's freaking atrociously impossible. Ow! <sighs> I'm a little blue dot in a thing. I'm trying to think of songs, but I can't think of anything because I'm still thinking about the Desmond video and I can't rhyme for a shit. <laughs> I got this. I got one! Extraction successful. Bypassing. Okay. What did I get now? Wow. 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 That is a hint. Hopefully just for Assassin's Creed lore. I mean... Ugh, I... Pfft. I would be really, really happy with any- with an Assassin's Creed game set in any location whatsoever, just everything, except for World War II slash World War I. Anywhere where, you know, weapons like guns were starting to become the more universal weapon, instead of just, you know, swords and stuff like that, because <laughs> Hidden blades. There'd be no you. There'd be no need for them anymore, and it'll just people would actually have a reason to say it's turning into Call of Duty. Anyway, uh, Siki Note 16. Remember that our relentless and pertinent hollow drive to achieve everything our forebearers did has led to many embarrassments and disasters: nuclear weapons, super viruses, genetically modified poison food, toxic air, plastic sea rack, and sea spawn. And in the, oh my God, lack of commas. My brain can't handle this. And the list goes on. You can look it up for yourselves on the internet, but it's all too... But all this, too, had a secret purpose in the end. Okay, cool. You could have used a freaking comma in there somewhere. Like, seriously? My brain? Alright, um... I feel like I want to hack one more computer while I'm in here. I've been in the present day for a long time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, this shit again. Okay. Move! Thank you! Made it! First try! I'm the best! I hope it's not a really super long tape again. <laughs> I mean, they're very interesting to listen to, but... Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. <gasps> it's Desmond! Of course, I guess it's... It's Desmond's voice! For you. I'll leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Uh, Kesmerica, Subject 16. So, when I fell into a coma back in Italy and woke up in the Animus Black Room, it was, um, so calming. It felt like I, uh, had woken up into a dream. A haze. A, a dream where none of this mess had ever happened. Uh, felt like I should just be getting ready for another day of pouring drinks at Bad Weather. And, uh, another day of complaining about Bad Weather is the name of the bar he used to work at, by the way. Wondering what the hell to do with myself. But, uh, when I saw Clay, just sitting there, it started to come back, you know, piece by piece, and when he told me about Lucy, I, uh, <laughs> fuck, you know, it, it hurt, you don't, you don't realize
realizing that I killed her. No thinking or feeling anything. Not at the time, anyway. Well, then, things just kept piling on. There were more memories of Ezio and Altair and the first civilization. And then, right before he vanished, Clay passed on his memories to me. He showed me everything he had seen and lived through, and it was... It was brief, but... Is that the Lost Archive DLC? Or something sure we haven't seen yet. Well, and it's the freaking glyphs. Yeah. And their escape from slavery. He saw the beginning and the end of the war between the first Civ and humans. He saw Minerva, and Juno, and Tinia trying to work out their their calculations. At least that's what they called them. They, they had these tools, these powerful uh, machines that could predict possible futures. Not what was going to happen, but what... Uh, but what could happen? Probabilities. And, well, they spent a lot of energy trying to figure out what was the most likely scenario for the future. Theirs and ours. And in the end, I guess they figured I was their most likely candidate. Some guy named Desmond living at the beginning of the 21st century of the Common Era. But which Desmond was the right one? Because, you see, Probability is a weird thing. It can branch out in so many ways. Ah, fuck. Which version of me did they need? Was it the Desmond who got married early and had a son? One who stayed single in New York? Or, or was it the Desmond who moved to San Francisco to be a waiter? Maybe uh, it was the Desmond who worked at an auto body shop in Chicago. Or maybe it was the me who never ran away from his parents in the first place. This is some First Bioshock Infinite shit up in here. In the end, the uh, lucky one was me. I'm the Desmond their best calculations spit out. I'm the Desmond they left their messages for. And I guess I have to live with that honor. Wow, so that's pretty much just everything that happened in AC Revelations. And before, I suppose. Just through Desmond's perspective. Wow. There's so many things here. Holy crap. <laughs> they have books and everything here. I'm in a very somber mood now. I just want to say that right now. Because, oh my god. So many secrets and hints and potential games dropping on my freaking head all at once. I can't handle this. Is that all that's in here? I only see three computers. But maybe there's another sticky note or something. No. I don't think so. But alright, cool. I can hack now. And I'm actually starting to accomplish things in present day. I'm very excited. Okay. Okay. Am I even supposed to be in there? Yeah, I'm not exactly supposed to be in there yet. It was like, John is letting me wander around. I think John might be an assassin undercover. Just saying. Just saying. That might be the reason why when we first saw him, he was under my desk and I couldn't see his face. Maybe John is just like an alias and he's actually someone I know, possibly. I don't know. His voice kind of did sound familiar, but I'm not even close to figuring out where it came from. You need to get out of the Animus, buddy. You've been in there forever. Seriously, you need to... You need to lay off a little bit. You're gonna die. Oh, hey, I got a new figurine. Wait, is this mine? Yeah, this is my desk. Why do I have... Oh, hello. Okay, I know why I have you. Why do I have you? I haven't met you yet. I just haven't met you yet. Is that an Abstergo soda? You guys have your own soda brand? That's sickening. Melanie, I need to talk to you about some of the shit I've seen. Where's my desk? It's right here. Okay. 
But yeah, first time I saw John, he was here and his head was under my desk, so I couldn't see his face. I have a feeling that's supposed to mean something. But anyway, we're going to go back in the Animus now. And we're going to visit Edward. And maybe meet Calico Jack. 20G, routine hacking. Excellent. Oh, hi, Caroline. Boy. Where are you going, the market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Hmm. And there she goes. <sighs> bye bye, Caroline. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Wake up, can we? Don't hit me with the fucking stick, man. It's rude. He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. That has to be not like comfortable at all, sleeping on like. a freaking tree. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married? I don't are you? have a wife. In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. Alrighty then. It's like Kid and I are on good terms. That's good. Follow Kid. Okay, wow, he certainly got over there fast. I'm actually kind of glad that I don't remember much about that book. Because that way it's like, oh yeah, I knew this was coming. Uh, it kind of takes away the surprise factor. But I am happy I read it. But... Over here. I found something. I've already been here, but oh, you found something that I overlooked. Well done. Oh wow, you definitely found something I overlooked. Alright, I'm coming, kid. You could go a little slower than that. You don't want to lose me. I'm coming. <laughs> oh wow. Look at this. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Mayan. Is this what I... they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. <laughs> Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Okay. Why are you not telling me? All right, our first mine ruin. Oh, hello. All your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter, until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering. You understand? I think so. I've seen its like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, oh, right. Oh, damn it. I cut him off. I feel horrible. Climb on top of it and press B to interact. Right here? Or all the way up? Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Well, then, how? Like this. No, not quite. Like this. That way. There we go. I remember these at the freaking island or whatever it is. Uh, pff, what was the name of that island? On this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. Tease but for it. a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life. 
of living things past and present. Okay, you're getting creepy on the me, kid. Of vitality. Come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries. I like you, kid. You're very philosophical, kind of. You're kind of like a hippie. And I like you. You are a gifted man, Edward. Whoa, hello. What is that? Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. Oh, god damn. This way. I have something else to show you. You are full of surprises, kid. Holy freaking balls. What the hell is this? Is there one that I'm going for specifically, or can I choose? I guess we'll go for this one in Eleuthera, since it's in the easy I thing. Something else just here. I think we'll take this secret much faster. Okay. Now this has the makings of a mystery. Yeah, it does. It? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. I don't like how he's kind of keeping me in the dark still. Holy fucking wow. Wow. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse is a man of many secrets. <laughs> I'll say. Aye, look here. A clever a French bastard. God knows where. I say we follow it. But I, <laughs> I can't loot the chest. God damn it. I don't know. Well, let's find out. Wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. Mm -hmm. Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Ow, thumbscrews. Please don't say that. <laughs> wow, what the hell? A nice pad, Ducas. Hell. Nice but that is some damn fine gear. I can imagine this place. Stinks. The key you took from Ducas. Well, it looks like there's more than one thingy, Majig. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. Oh. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? Yeah, you gotta stop them, Edward. If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Good point. I do like Kid. His little... His little quotes. They get me thinking. I like him. Alright, we'll... Go to this one. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, well what type of armor is that? I didn't really get a good look. Is it Templar armor? It looks pretty freaking cool. I will say. You just signed on, man! You're missing a foot. That's unfortunate. I can imagine this place has got a stink! If you just left this guy up there to rot with the armor on it. Ow, my foot! Bullets! Okay, cool. I'm gonna meet with Kid now. Holy crap, this is where Ducasse lived? Well, I'm only a little jealous. He's got his own cool little secret underground cavern. Isn't that what, like, little kids always dreamed of having? Like, having a little secret hideout near their base or whatever? It's like... Oh, it's a little kid's dream come true. It would be pretty freaking awesome. Alright, back to the jackdaw. This is getting interesting really fast. Dukas is dead, and now I need to kill Woods Rogers. Hmm. Well, does Dukas count as one of the four, or were there five? I seem to remember there only being four. Dukas, Rogers, Governor Ayala, and... 
And, uh, f f f I don't even know. It'll come Even to me. Already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. Hey! We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. Yeah. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude, just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Okay. Something tells me I'm going to meet the assassins. The Mayan assassins. 100% sync. I didn't have any optional objectives, but okay, cool. Awesome! This is getting real interesting, real fast. Great Inagua. Hideout upgrades. Meet with your crew to purchase available upgrades for Edward's hideout. Oh, I guess... Okay, I guess Jocasta's hideout is mine now. Alright, awesome. Awesome! Now I get to go back to my pretty boat.